Development and Research. In Washington, Kirsten Garris, New Center 7. An Ohio community is coming together to support the owners of a Christmas tree farm after a fire left the family displaced. Brian and Jennifer Keaton have owned a big tree plantation in Morrow for more than a decade, according to our news partners at WCPO in Cincinnati. On November 21st, just days before their busiest day of the year, the family's house and two cars were heavily damaged in a fire. We lost our girls' one-year-old pictures uh, that were found on the wall. We lost things that can't be replaced, but we're thankful um, we didn't lose everything. A family friend started an online fundraiser to support the Keatons. So far, that fundraiser has raised more than $18,000. Yeah, Robert is here now with a look at your forecast. Uh, forecast is going to be a little bit bumpy as far as temperature is concerned. We're going up and down a little bit. And we're not done with the rain completely. I mean... We're done with the rain tonight, I would say, for the most part, a stray shower possible. We are looking at a system coming through Tuesday night, so let's talk all about it. Now, today we got up into the 50s. 57 degrees was the temperature in Dayton, actually, so it was relatively warm. It was also relatively wet, relatively cloudy, relatively windy as well, but the winds have pretty much died down at this point. And so while we did get into the upper 50s today, we'll likely only get into the mid-40s tomorrow, so we are looking at a cooler day. 42 degrees is the temperature now. Some places are already in the 30s. We're likely going to see temperatures dropping pretty slowly because of the cloud cover. That cloud cover acts like a blanket, and so we will lose heat regardless, but at a much slower rate than, say, we had clear skies or something like that. So we are looking at a cool night tonight, temperatures getting into the upper 30s in Dayton, and then, like I mentioned, a chilly day on Monday. But then the temperatures go back to above average for this time of year as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Look, 57 again, 56 for Wednesday. Typically in late November, afternoons are about 48 degrees. So we'll be above average Tuesday and Wednesday before we drop back down into Thursday. That's in advance of a cold front that's coming through. That'll bring some showers, which we're going to talk about here in a second. And then still pretty chilly for Friday, too. Overall, across the Midwest, we're looking at some cloudy skies. It's a little hard to tell with some of these low-level clouds when you use the satellite. Now, if you look behind me, say, in like Virginia, where it looks a lot darker, almost black, they're seeing some clear skies. But here over Ohio, it's more of a light gray. So it is cloudy outside, but they're, they're low-level clouds versus some of these, these wider clouds. They're a little bit higher in the atmosphere, so they're easy to see. Regardless, we're looking at some mostly cloudy skies overnight. We're not really looking at much rain, though. Here's what we had this morning from about 4 a.m. to noon. You can see a nice little swath of shower activity, heavy pockets of rain at times, actually, before we got to the afternoon. And then it started to fizzle a little bit, not completely, but if you had people driving home today from wherever you were doing for this Thanksgiving break, it's likely better to leave in the afternoon. You'd at least have a lower chance of seeing some rainfall. Even though we did still see some linger into the evening, but not so much. The last three hours or so, a lot, the sprinkle activity we did see is pushed off toward the east. And so we're pretty much dry here overnight, aside from a stray sprinkle, but we're going to remain cloudy, too. Here's a look at 3 a.m., trying to spin up a sprinkle there, but beyond that, we're pretty dry. Now, moving into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, hopefully we'll see the cloud cover break up to see a little sunshine before the sun sets, but we're likely going to be mainly cloudy tomorrow, and then into Tuesday, too. Now, so moving to Tuesday afternoon, we're dry, but look at late Tuesday, about 11 o'clock, you start to see some showers come in, and that will continue into Wednesday, bringing a pretty wet day ahead and then some cold temperatures. We'll still be pretty chilly tonight, low of 38 degrees, and then you can see the next seven days, the scattered showers and storms Wednesday, that's what the cold front that comes through, and then you can see a low temperature Thursday morning of only 23. So if you want the latest information on what to expect this weekend, Make sure to tune in to New Center 7's Daybreak Edition starting at 425. Meteorologist Kirsty Zantini will have the latest to help you plan your day. All right. Thank you, Robert. More than a billion young people around the world are at